Today, guys, we're going to do a little bit more with our Southwest Area Conference. This Today's activity is, are we there yet? You're going to face a lot of these Southwest Conference towns academically, athletically as you grow up. So we might as well know where these places are, figure out how long it's going to take us to get there. Be a lot of bus rides for us coming up if we're very active in school. So, one of you guys are going to be going to be working in partners. One of you guys are going to be actually putting the information into this spreadsheet. The other one is going to be over on uh, Google Maps. Make sure you type your names down here so we know who the partners are. And you can notice we've got the Valentine Badgers, the Minden Whippets, the Gothenburg Swedes the Ainsworth Bulldogs, Ogallala Indians, and Broken Bow Indians here. We're going to take in miles and the time it's going to get there. So but one of you is here. The other one, we're going to have you go over to maps.google.com. Pulling that site up will allow us to figure out how many miles and how much time it's going to take. Once here, the easiest way is to hit get directions. So our starting point is always going to be the same. Cozad Middle School and Cozad Nebraska pulls it up down below like that. Destination, we'll go back over to the Southwest Conference, a hey, Valentine, Nebraska. Let's take a look at that. Valentine, Nebraska. Get it, pulls it up. You can see where that's located, way to the north, just a couple miles south of the South Dakota border. So you can see both on the map and up here, the mileage, 168 miles. It's going to take us two hours and 48 minutes. Well, you guys are going to have to convert that over here on the, on the time because we need this all to be in minutes. You guys know... 60 minutes or in an hour, so you have to take that times two, add those other 48 minutes, come up with it, and put it. And when you notice, and you put them in here, something's going to happen over on the chart. So notice, we'll put in the miles here to get us started off 168 miles, and it should start seeing things happening over in our chart. Might not seem like much figure out the time on that trip and if you have to go there very many times that'll be a long bus ride for you. All right, I'm let you guys go ahead and finish the rest of that. Later on we'll learn how to make these charts and graphs and play a little bit of um, more with them. Have some fun. Good luck.